My name is Don Immel. I'm the head of brass and orchestral studies at the University of Melbourne. We put three together as a way to commission more works for our instruments. I'm a trombonist and my colleague Joel Brennan, a trumpet player. We're always searching for great literature and certainly looking for literature for both trombone and trumpet together. The number three itself is important because between the two of us, we are teaming up with another person on a rotating schedule. So this year, we're working with Ken Murray, who's the lecturer in guitar. The composers who wrote for the three of us all had really interesting ideas of how the instruments could work together. We've commissioned a number of Victorian composers to write music specifically for our ensemble that is both new and, and interesting and engaging, but also approachable. Christian O'Brien wrote a piece for us and he uh, plays in the rock band Alpine. Katie Abbott um, is a teacher here and she um, completed a PhD in composition. Andrew Batterham is someone I started my first year of university here with. Incredibly talented composer. Uh, I've written a couple of pieces as well, but we've come up with some really interesting sounds and ways of working together, partly with the use of loop pedals, reverbs and delays. Part of our uh, agenda is to, to bring some, some new thought to these regional communities. So we've visited Alexandra and worked with a lot of the students, creating our own kind of sound and creating some sounds on top of the pieces that we've commissioned. This was our first trip outside of uh, Melbourne proper, and we worked with some really, really fantastic musicians in these communities. Both schools we were pretty impressed, you know, firstly with the music staff who teach there and the sort of culture they're engendering and how um, enthusiastic the students are about music. Uh, but also how open the students are and how quick they are to pick things up. The idea was to show them a little bit of what we've been doing, uh, working this new repertoire and to play for them, um, and also to workshop a piece. And we came together for a performance on their local radio station at the end of the day. You're listening to the Jam Sessions coming to you live from the Alexandra Secondary College and from the Melbourne Conservatorium of uh, Music with a project uh, called Three. What do you think of uh, some of the rehearsals you've heard here this afternoon? Oh, it's been great. Are you kidding? I mean, they're playing some great tunes and they're having a lot of fun on them. It's just nice to hear that the kids are being creative and figuring things out. Most of them might have their heart in rock music or, you know. Yeah, sure. But they can really appreciate uh, what you're doing next. I think you're right. And I think music is communication. For a school that has a weekly radio program for their students to to perform on and that is a really special and wonderful event and we really enjoyed both playing on that show ourselves but also hearing those students completely at home live on the radio. It was really wonderful. Well done everyone, that was three and the uh, music students from the Alexander Secondary College. Uh, There's always this wall between the stage and the off stage. And uh, I'm always working to break that down. This is a, an awesome way to do that, actually bringing them on the stage and making them part of the process, as music should be. We went to Whittlesea Secondary College the next day, again workshopping a new piece and playing for them a little bit, and at the end of the day, performing a concert. They're very open to hearing new sounds. We're trying to show them what we want music to be and some of the possibilities there. They get a sense of something maybe that's off the, the normal track. Maybe it's 20 seconds or 30 seconds of a piece that might catch somebody's imagination, but that might lead them to a career in the arts or just uh, creativity in general. One of the things that we, we hope that the students can see is that music as a career can take many forms and it's not necessarily how it's depicted on television. This can be electric, it can be acoustic, it can be a mixture of both, it can use modern technology, it can use composers, it can be any number of things. I guess the best way to articulate it is that it can be exactly what you want it to be.